Hey, it's Brett here, Mountain Bike More, and today I'm going to show you the part three of the Arroyo Tribuco Terrace Creek Loop. Uh, the other two videos will be linked in the descriptions, also Machete Ripper will be there, so hopefully this helps you add a nice 14 mile loop, 1000 vertical feet, and it's a blast. So this section of the video starts at Arroyo Tribuco Trail where it intersects O'Neill Park. You can start with this video or you can use this as the connector. We go through Twisted Tire, we go through the Mesa Trail, and then we hop on the road and work our way over to Terrace Creek. So I hope this helps you mountain bike more. Here we go, we're in O'Neill Park. Uh, you can get the Twisted Tire through the park or here's a trail, a little connector from our uh, Chibuco Trail. This way it's easy to find. If you come the other way, it's not. So just know, oh, here's a little left. Look, they even have a little sign, Twisted Tire, guiding you. And it's probably tired of people getting lost. And then here's the creek. So let's see, is that the trail? Doesn't look like it. Here it is over here. Here's the grass, look, the trail sign. Perfect. Bloop. It's already dry and it's still April. So we're just working our way over to Twisted, Twisted Tire. We're in O'Neill Park. You can go up the road if you want, it's quicker. Um, you're all shaded, but Twisted Tire is fine. It's pretty cool. You're on a mountain bike, so why not go up the trail? Twisted Tire. Nice little trail. If you've been pushing, it's a hard trail. If you've been taking it easy, not so bad. And if you're a beginner, this is a really hard trail, but most intermediate riders, you can cruise up it. Don't cut the switchbacks. Just causes unnecessary erosion. And you're out here to enjoy being outside. What does another two seconds cost you? Actually, it costs you nothing. It's even better. It's a reward. A little cool tree bent over. Right underneath it. A couple of rocks to worry about, but no biggie. <clears throat> Another bench, table, there's a bunch of them here in O'Neill Park. Great spots to rest, biking. Some nice views. All right, right here, I'm gonna hop on the road. This is the only part where you really can't miss it, but you can. Whatever, Mr. Bowen. Whatever. But there's an opening in the get in the fence on the right. We're gonna look for. Uh, be careful. That opening closes at sunset. I have come in the other way and had it locked on me. I had to turn around and go back. It's not for a while, but this way I'm sure I don't miss it. And if you miss it, it's no biggie. Mesa Trail turns around. It's not going to drop you into the canyon or anything. Oh, how are you doing? Speaking of gate, here it is. So now we're leaving O'Neill Park. All right, so there's a few different ways to connect O'Neill Park to Terrace Creek Trail. Um, but most of them do take this paved path to the left. Um, 
So we're gonna take it and we're gonna end up on Plano Tribuco. No matter how you do it, you really end up on Plano Tribuco. So there's a few ways of doing this. Um, I tend to do it by looking for a wall. I'm gonna take this pavement all the way to the end and then through some dirt and then I'm gonna hit a trail, a street. It's gonna turn into Plano Tribuco and I'll get some views off to the left of the mountains. There's some little jumps for the groms. But we're gonna leave our shade, so it's gonna start getting hot. So you'll have to excuse me as I drink some water throughout the ride. So here we go. The road veers right, or the pavement veers right. The path I'm going to take appears left. You can do it either way. Um, but I'm going to go left. There's this little wall that I find is a good landmark. These are little jumps for the kids. And then on the right, you see the wall and the fence on the left. That's the opening if you're coming the other way. And this way we have the sidewalk so we don't have to risk our lives on the street. Here we go, we're turning right on Plano Tribuco. And this is a key street. This goes all the way to Terrace Creek End. Left is Robinson Ranch. There's definitely trails over there. But for our little loop, we wanna to get to Terrace Creek. And we pretty much lost our uh, shade. Um, so, we got a little bit now because the sun's getting low. How's it giving me shade? But the rest of this ride, most of it will be in the sun. So good thing it's getting later in the day. For me, I we'll try to hit this part of the trail when it's hotter. I mean, sorry, yeah. No, yeah, no, 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 no. Hit this part of the trail when it's cooler because there's not a lot of protection from the sun. go Santa Margarita to the left there's a shopping center so here so up here is Tub Canyon there's the route to get up to Bellevue Trail on the left where the waterfall is. We're going to look like we're going to Kodo, but there is a little trail, Arroyo Tribuco, or not, Terrace Creek, sorry, Terrace Creek. Terrace Creek is up here on the right, and here is uh, Santa Margarita High School. And now we're boarding Terrace Creek. I find uh, the fence on the left really good for stretching. If you like this video, hit like, ding, hit subscribe, blink, hit the notification, leave me comments here on YouTube, leave them on the trail. If there's things you want to see, let me know. Um, I love to hear from you. I love it when people say more or give me fists on the trail. That's awesome. Mountain biker first, YouTuber second, third or fourth or fifth. I don't know. Um, just go ride more.
GoPro stop recording. Mountain bike more. Ride more. Subscribe. Laugh more. Like. Crash more. Comment. Crash more. Comment.